my son. I didn't know you had a child. So who are you anyway? Shane, be polite. Just ask the question. A good friend of mine was a friend of your mom's from a long time ago. Did you know my dad? I just met your mom right now. I'm sorry, I don't know your dad. But you said, Shane, um, I thought you had some reading to do for school. I finished it already. Okay. What grade are you in, Shane? Uh, honey, um, I, why don't you go into the bedroom and listen to music? Right now? Yes, now. And put your headphones on because it's late and these walls are pretty thin. Oh. Nice to meet you, Shane. Now, uh, what is it that you wanted? Is Shane Rex's son? No, that's a good one. <laughs> you actually think Shane is... Well, you and Rex are the same age. I know that. And Shane looks to be about nine years old, which means you would have been really young when you had him. About the same age you were when you were dating Rex. Rex was long gone from Michigan by the time I got pregnant. Rex's aunt Corinne said you left town right after he did. I did. And I met someone else. I guess I was on the rebound. The rest, as they say, is history. My history. Rex doesn't keep things from me, you know. He told me all about running into you in Texas, and now suddenly you're here. Funny. <laughs> Rex didn't mention that his fiance was a detective, too. I'm not. Oh, could have fooled me, because you're pretty good with the third degree. <laughs> well, I'm just trying to understand why Rex would have left out the fact that you have a son. Well, that would be simple. Rex doesn't know. Why would you keep your son a secret from Rex? Did I say it was a secret? It just never came up. Really? I would think that would be pretty big news for two people catching up after all these years. Look, Rex and I both moved on. He was my high school sweetheart. That's it. The life I live now isn't any of his business, and I'd appreciate it if you didn't tell him about Shane. Why not? Because the fewer people who know we're even here, the better. I want to keep my son safe. I don't understand. We came here to help Marcy out. I got into some trouble down in Texas for trying to help her then. I just want to get this over with and get my son back home. That's all I can really say. Well, Rex and I don't keep secrets from each other. <sighs> this doesn't have anything to do with the two of you. Besides, don't you have more important things to think about besides my family and me? Don't you have a wedding to plan? Yeah, we do. Do you have a problem with that? The problem with your wedding? Why would well, I even care? You and Rex had a history. Yeah, that was maybe. high school. People grow up. At least some people do. I did. So did Rex. And it looks like he found someone real nice to spend the rest of his life with. Thank you. Yeah. I'm happy for him. Okay? I'm happy for both of you. Sweet of you to say that. Well, that's a real positive way to look at things. And I hope you'll just stay focused on how happy you are and... Forget all about Shane and me. Now, I swore to John that I wouldn't open the door to anyone, so if you don't mind. Actually, I was looking for John's brother, Michael. Well, you can see he's not here, so um, I think it's best if you go. Okay. Bye, Gigi. Bye. Good luck with your wedding. One life to live. You're in a heap of trouble, Mr. Vega. This war ends today. She's going to have to tell me around. That's what? Do you want Charlie to be your father? My son is here. Watch weekdays on ABC. Weeknights on Soap 